Hey, it's Joe Lines. In, uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate um, this regex functionality inside AutoHotKey Studio. So if, if you don't know what regular expressions are, um, go check out my videos on them. They're a great way to find patterns in text and, and deal with replacements or doing pattern matching and stuff. Uh, this video is not about regex explicitly. It's more about a tool in Studio that you can do use to affect text in Studio. It's easier to demonstrated this to explain it. So I'm gonna hit Alt M and let me get to my regex selection or selected dialog. Now in here, actually, you know what? Let me get back because I want to demonstrate this. If you have it highlighted and then you pull it up, so regex selected dialog, it's gonna pre-populate up here with the text that you had selected. And in here, we're gonna look for the, the needle. And so let's say, first off, if I wanted to grab digit, so I'm gonna put it in a sub pattern and Let's do D plus, um, and over here, let's just do one dollar sign one, because that's the first pattern. Um, and let's go back in over here. Let's do star. There we go. And let's wrap this in quotes. So actually that, now this, this pattern one is um, this one, not this one. So each one of these is numbered. So I'm gonna put a pipe and let's do dollar sign two and then another pipe and dollar sign three so right now we're looking at what we're going to um, replace it with and this is our pattern so here i'm going to put back in dot star asterisk and so oh that's interesting why is that breaking out it's slash d plus that's one or more um i'm not sure why it's doing that. Let, me, let me get in the spaces here oh there we go um so now, number one is your first pattern, and it's everything to the left of the space, the first space, I should say. And then there's one or more numbers, and then a space, and then everything to the right. So if I change this to be three, I can have that twice. It doesn't matter, right? I can change them all to three, which, of course, would be silly. But um, let's make this a, a one and this a two, right? So it's allows you to grab which ones you want. Each one of these is the sub patterns and it's showing you. And here's the cool thing that um, really what this tool is for is one is it can show you this, but I'm gonna save this as move around. All right, now it's saved. Now when I'm in here, I'm gonna hit Alt M, Red Jax. So see how I have Control K as a hotkey? So um, I can come up here and pull this, but I have control K. So when I'm on here, I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna hit control K and it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna do the move around thing? You just define, yeah, I do. And it's gonna apply that to the selected text. So I can do it to this one and I can hit control K again and do the same one. And it's gonna apply that regex to the selected text. Um, I can undo in this, which is nice. So that's the thing is if you have text that is often in a certain pattern and you want to move things around or let's say i wanted to um, add message boxes to each variable right that's common to limit you could you could go through and do the pattern match put a message box in front of each one or put the name of the text first wrap it in double quotes or something um, it allows you to do that again it's for text within studio now auto hotkey is incredibly powerful right we could let's say if you had something in word or notepad or any other thing you'd have to write a script leveraging that regular expression, but auto hotkey in itself, you could say, hey, go get me the selected text, copy to the clipboard, manipulate it however you want, and then send it back to that program. Um, that's not part of Studio, right? This is inside Studio, but I just want to make sure you understand the concepts uh, of, and the power of regular expressions are amazing, but this is for doing stuff within Studio. So hope that helps. Cheers.